Welcome to Designer Digital's bi-weekly tip, August 1st, 2014. This week, blending images using the Apply Image function in Photoshop. The full version of Photoshop has an often overlooked feature under the Image menu called Apply Image. This feature allows you to achieve and tweak blending variations using channels to choose which colors will be affected. Here's how to use it. Begin by opening two images, such as a photo and a textured paper. I'm using this great piece of paper from the Presti Paper Pack by Grunge Source at Designer Digitals. This is a richly textured, kind of a grungy, scratchy, painted looking paper. Move the textured paper on top of the photo using the Move tool. If your paper comes in as a smart object, you're going to have to rasterize it because this feature doesn't work on smart objects. So rasterize it by right clicking the layer and choosing rasterize layer or you can simply choose layer rasterize and then choose either smart object or layer depending on your software. Next I'm going to go ahead and close out of the grungy paper so that we can focus on our project. Choose image, apply image from the menu bar. And this brings up the Apply Image dialog box. Make sure that the Preview button is ticked here so that you can see the changes as you work with the blending. Under Layer, choose Background. Next, under Blending, choose Overlay or Soft Light. Those are the ones that I use most often with this technique. The opacity defaults to 100%, but if you want to see more of the top or texture layer, you can reduce the opacity by highlighting the 100% and typing in a new number, like 50. Now for this project, I'm going to go ahead and leave it at 100%. Next, try blending just one channel at a time. Click here on the Channel drop-down box and choose Red or Green or Blue just to see what you get. Each of these will give you a different kind of a look. You can also experiment with the blending modes. Modes like Multiply usually give you a darker, moody look, and you may want that on some projects. When you find one that you like, go ahead and click OK, and you'll see that the changes have been applied to your textured paper layer. If the effect is too strong, you can reduce the opacity of the top layer by dragging the opacity slider to the left a little bit to reveal some of the original photo underneath. And if you've blended using one of the channels like red or green or blue and you've ended up with kind of a monochromatic look, this is a good way to bring some of the color back into the image. Now for a variation, you can try blending two photos or blending a copy of the photo with the original photo. You'll get some great dramatic looks this way. This is a great technique to have in your arsenal because you can achieve looks and moods that you can't achieve through just using a blending mode. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to check back in two weeks for the next Designer Digital's tip.